in the slap fight competition. This is a big bad boy from Rome, turned West Virginia. What do you got to say about this match tonight? Hardcore hillbilly, more like hardcore sissy. I'm gonna smack the fing taste out of his fing mouth. And when I'm done, I'm gonna be the first ever IWA Deep South slap fight champion. Big James, don't care how big your damn hands are. If I go to the second round, I'm slapping the piss out of you too. And that, my friend, is crystal fing clear. All right, big hillbilly, get up here, man. Chris was writing a check. Is he going to be able to cash it today? We're going to see. Big boy. Wrong turn. West Virginia making his debut today in IWA Deep South. Hardcore f***ing hillbilly. You heard Mr. Chris, what do you got to say, man? Man, he, he talks a lot of tough shit, man. You know, I'm not just going to slap the f*** out of him. I'm going to blow his head off his shoulders. I will blow that f***ing face. Off your head, you keep talking And why, why the f are we even acting like Red Solo got a chance in this bullshit anyway? You might as well just gave Big James the first, uh, first round by. But I'll tell you what, I ain't worried about that joker right there, that jabroni Mr. Crystal. Sure as hell ain't worried about Red Solo Cup. And I ain't f***ing scared of you, Big James, either. I'm taking that belt back to wrong turn with me where it belongs. Big James said he's going home with uh, Solo the XO Lady so. We'll see what happens today. John Rare. Hell, he can keep her. I don't want her. He can keep her ugly ass. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Slap Mountain. My name is JT Tilly, and this is the second quarterfinal match of the amateur slap tournament that we discovered in the Deep South, and I cannot wait to see what happens. Our first competitor is walking up to the camera now. This is Mr. Crystal from Conover, North Carolina, and Mr. Crystal is a polarizing character. He has made enemies everywhere he has been today. I had a chance to talk to Mr. Crystal earlier, and he tells me that he has deceptive power. His 250 pounds is packed into a five foot two inch frame, giving him essentially the same physique he had as a baby, and that's given him over 20 years experience in that body, perfecting his athletic prowess. And you can see here as he's rounding the corner and jumping up on the cage, that this man is an elite athlete, and he's going to need those genetic gifts here today as he faces his toughest his opponent, opponent to date. And his opponent comes all the way from Wrong Turn, West Virginia, 320 pounds. Stepping out of the tree line now, it's the Hardcore Hillbilly. The Hillbilly is the tournament dark horse. And you can tell by the look on his face that he means business. He has been repeatedly disrespected today by Mr. Crystal, and this is his opportunity to show Mr. Crystal who's the boss. Stepping up into the ring now, the hardcore hillbilly, folks. And just as soon as he steps into the ring, there's Mr. Crystal with his middle finger up in the air. Unbelievable. Our official this afternoon will be John Rare. On your right, Hardcore Hillbilly. On your left, Mr. Crystal, who apparently has no interest in a handshake before the match. All right, the official with the coin toss. And it goes to Mr. Crystal. I have to apologize. There's a, some kind of disturbance going on behind me here, and I'm sure it's bleeding through the microphone. Apologies. All right, Mr. Crystal's going to slap first. He scoots up to the table here, or at least as close as he can get. And that first slap is just a little bit of a dud. Uh, it, it actually was in the strike zone, but it didn't have much power. And then suddenly Mr. Crystal wants to shake hands. Hillbilly says, no way. Hillbilly hauls off. And a swing and a miss from the hillbilly. He actually just kind of catches the tip of the nose, knocks a booger out there. And then look, there's just a moment of sadness there. A lot of noise behind me, folks. I'm sorry. Please forgive that. 
Yeah, some of us hit harder than that. All right, Mr. Crystal, here we go with round two. Okay, now that was actually a pretty good slap. You can see he's got just a little bit more power here, and he's hitting right in the strike zone. That's a good sign. Here we go. Hardcore hillbilly. Okay, hardcore hillbilly with a nice slap. I have to say, I do not think that closing your eyes and scrunching your face together is the best strategy for a slap competition. Uh, we're going to see how that pays off for Mr. Crystal. It's, it's, it's the shout-out thing. I did that. I, I, I uh, that there's an awful lot of noise behind me here in the tree line, and it looks like they're going to ask these folks to leave. Uh, we've got a husband and a wife that are having some sort of a an animated discussion here. I'm so sorry. Okay, here we go. Round three. Another great slap by Mr. Crystal. He's actually doing really well here. <laughs> And you can see the intensity on his face. Come on! Come on! But I thought. Okay, Mr. Crystal having some words here with his wife. Okay, and another swing and a miss from the hillbilly. Just barely catches him, just the tip. In a 20-round fight, this is not good. I would say that right now Mr. Crystal does have the edge if the hillbilly cannot find his mark before the end of this fight. Here we are with the beginning of round four. And another good slap from Mr. Crystal. You could just see it on his face. He came to win. Okay, the hillbilly finds his mark. Holo. Oh, no. We've got a knockout, folks. Go! Fantastic. The winner of this match, the hardcore hillbilly. Okay, I'm told there's a disturbance in the parking lot. I guess after they were ejected from the event, this guy and his wife are having some sort of car issues. Uh, there's some sort of a meltdown going on, and I'm told we have a video. So let's roll that video here. Hold on. Leave me alone. I'll kill you, you keep on. Bitch, I'll kill you. I'll kill you in about two seconds. Bitch. I'm going to knock you out, Alan. I swear to God. You better be glad I ain't got a gun because I will shoot you right between the mother Get the shooting in, bitch. Get your gun out, bitch, because I'm ready to die.